Hi there, and welcome back to Mary's Nest. If the garlic infused honey is a little too much for you, a little too strong, and you worry about being around other people when you're taking it, don't worry, I've got a solution for you. If you saw one of my previous videos on making natural remedies, you may recall I made honey infused with garlic, ginger, and turmeric. This is wonderful to have on hand if you're home with a cold. If you're going out though, it can be a little strong and you might be a little uncomfortable because you'll be smelling of garlic and other people may not appreciate that. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Another solution is simply to take some ginger and infuse that in honey. Ginger is wonderful for helping you with antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial properties, so on and so forth, when you're fighting a cold or you're wanting to lessen the severity of it. And the nice thing about it is you can still go out in public if you need to. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you like learning about natural living that involves making natural remedies like this, as well as cooking from scratch, and joining me on a few thrifting adventures around the Hill Country, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you do, be sure to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know each time I upload a video. This is a wonderful book by Rosemary Gladstar called Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide. And I highly recommend this book if you're new to herbs, new to growing them, new to making natural remedies with them, and just learning about them in general. It's really quite wonderful. And in this book, under ginger, she has a recipe for ginger syrup. And it's very easy to make. All it involves is grated ginger and honey. And I'm just going to show you how I make that. The thing that I like to do is get any jar you want. It, I'm just using, you know, this jar, it's a canning jar. Uh, any jar you want, it doesn't matter, and make as much or as little as you want. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have enough ginger that fills your jar halfway up. And the way we're going to put the ginger in here is grated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to get this ginger ready and I'm going to bring you closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now this is a nice big healthy uh, piece of ginger, nice size, about the size of uh, slightly bigger than my hand. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm probably just going to need two of these pieces. So I'm going to put this to the side for now and the first thing I'm going to do is clean off the ginger. And as I had showed you in another video, all I do is just use a spoon to scrape the skin off and it goes very, very quickly. And I like to use, you don't really need it, I use a um, a uh, serrated spoon, a grapefruit spoon, uh, but a regular spoon works well too. And I'm just going to keep doing this to clean up my ginger and when I've got it all cleaned up I'll show you how I go about grating it. Well I've got my ginger all cleaned up and when you clean it don't worry if it's not perfect if you have a little bit here and there, that's fine. Don't worry about it at all. Just do the best that you can and that's perfect. Uh, as you may remember, these were just two pieces, but as I was cleaning it up, I broke off some of the smaller pieces because it just makes it easier to clean it up. So do whatever works for you. The next step we're going to do is we're going to grate this ginger. And you have options. Whatever grater you have uh, at home is fine. This is a microplane. You can use this. Or if you have the traditional grater like this, this is fine too. And you can grate it on any one that you want. What's ever easiest for you. It doesn't matter. Well, I'm going to use my microplane and I'm just going to start grating this ginger. And that's all that I'm going to do. And I'm going to grate all of it until I'm done. And once I get this all grated, I'll show you what the next step is going to be. Well, I've grated all the ginger and I've put it into a little uh, saucepan here. Now, I just want to mention, this is a little bit of a job hand grating it. So if you have a food processor, by all means, and with one of the grating blades, by all means, uh, you can grate the ginger like that too. The bottom line is to just get it nicely grated so it releases all the juices. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to flatten it out like this and I'm going to add some honey and just enough honey to cover. And the honey that I'm using is actually some honey that uh, comes from a beehive that my husband's cousin has and he calls it Bob's Bees Best. So we're going to use that. It's wonderful honey. And all we're going to do is just pour to cover and then I'm going to put it over on the stove. I'm going to put it on low 
and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And I'll show you that up close so that you can see it. I'm just going to go ahead right now. I'm just going to pour this honey over this to cover. You just want to make sure all the ginger is covered. Perfect. And I'll bring you up close so you can see this. Now I've covered all the grated ginger with honey and you might see that the ginger juices and some of the ginger are starting to float to the top and that's fine. But all the ginger is thoroughly covered and submerged and now I'm going to put this on low and I'm going to get this nice and warm and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or so and watch as the ginger becomes a little softer. Well I let this simmer on the stove for 15 minutes while I did up the dinner dishes and now it's nice, the ginger is nice and soft and I've turned the heat off and I'm going to remove it from the stove and we'll get ready to decant it. Well I've got my honey ginger mixture here in my little saucepan. It's cooled off a bit. I've got a soup ladle and a funnel and my jar and I'm just going to ladle this into my jar. Now I'm not going to strain this. The reason is I grated it very finely using the microplane grater and this also makes a nice you know, we call it ginger jam or a ginger marmalade and it'll thicken up a little in the fridge and it's wonderful on toast. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you uh, have, if you grated it thicker, uh, you can certainly leave it like that too, just like with a regular orange marmalade or something like that that has the, the thicker uh, grate of uh, orange in it. You could just have something with a thicker grate of ginger. And I think that's the best way to leave it regardless of how you grated it. The reason is if if you try to strain out the ginger to just have the honey, and you certainly can do that, it, but it is a little bit of a sticky wicket. You know, it, it's just straining honey just doesn't always go easy, easily. So I would recommend just keeping the ginger in the honey, which is what I like to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to transfer this into my jar. It's just beautiful. And what you're going to like too is as this simmers on the stove, the aroma of the ginger as it softens and releases all of its juices into the honey is just delightful. Well, I'm going to go and finish uh, decanting this and then I'll show you how it all looks when it's done. Now I've got this all decanted into my jar and I'm going to put the lid on and put this in my refrigerator. And as I said, it'll congeal up a bit and it'll be very much like a, a jam or a jelly or a marmalade. And you can certainly take it by the teaspoonful as a little daily tonic during cold and flu season. Um, and you can especially uh, take it when you have a cold. It's very soothing. It's soothing to your throat and it'll also hopefully maybe help lessen uh, your cold symptoms. At, at, at the very least, it'll just make you feel better. Uh, just the sweetness and the ginger is delightful. And you can put a little bit in a teacup, add some hot water, make a little ginger tea. Uh, as I said, you can also spoon it onto toast and use it as like a ginger jam or a ginger marmalade. I think you're going to like it very much. And I've just reserved a little bit here. I'm just going to take a little taste of this, this batch and we'll see how it is. As uh, hopefully you can see, it, it's right now it's still rather uh, liquidy because it's warm from having been on the stovetop. But it will thicken up a bit. And I'm just going to take a little taste. I'll let you know how it is. Mmm. Mmm. That's very good. I really like ginger. And it's just delightful. It's not too spicy. The honey really helps soften it, soften the taste, and warming it on the stove and allowing it to soften also uh, helps soften the taste of the uh, ginger as well. So I think you're going to find this delightful. For complete instructions on how to make this ginger honey, please visit my website, marysnest.com. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your friends. And if you'd like to learn more about natural living and how to make natural remedies like this, as well as learn how to cook from scratch and join me on a few thrifting adventures around the Texas Hill Country, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you do, be sure to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, that's all for today, but I want to thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again right here in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.